So I'm on a walk during work and uh, there's geese over there. <laughs> and I'm kind of afraid to keep walking because I have been told by a few different people that geese are very mean. <laughs> and I have no desire to get attacked by a bird. So I might just, I'm gonna see, I might have to turn around and go back because, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Should I just keep walking and hope they leave me alone? Well, they're walking over there and I'm on this side of the street, so hopefully that's good enough. I've never seen one this close up before, actually. <laughs> a little waddle. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna be safe. Okay. I think I'm good. They're over there and uh, <laughs> they're letting me walk by. <laughs> without attacking <laughs> so yay for that so mom texted me earlier said she was at the dollar store and saw a sign and asked if I wanted it I said yeah I like it and uh, while I was at the chiropractor she dropped it off so look at that hey y'all that's cute I like it I'm out for another walk and look an actual turtle y'all He's real. He moved a second ago. I promise you this is a real turtle. What in the world? What are you doing here? Wow. I want to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I want to touch it. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Oh my goodness. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sunning yourself. Such a beautiful day. I'm going to leave you alone. I just wanted to say hi, turtle. Hello. It's Saturday and I was originally going to go out grocery shopping and then visit mom, but as you can see, it's quite a rainy day today. It's actually stormy too. Poor little Snidely is very uncomfortable, but today is shaping up very much to be a stay at home in my PJs and wear a robe kind of day. So that's what we're going to do. I'm about to fix myself some Earl Grey tea and sit and relax and uh you know we'll save doing stuff for another day i can't explain it over the phone you'll see it when you get here come to serpent creek please you're my only hope I'm ready to play this game. I haven't played it in a while. I'm, I've booted it up on my old iMac and uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. This game is too much. Good evening. My name is Alistair Bramanus, mayor of Serpent Creek, at your service. As you are aware that we just experienced a minor underground tremor, Nothing of concern, really. Unfortunately, I'm not able to reach Sheriff Wilson and inform him about the damages. Your friend went missing. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, this guy is not suspicious at all, right? We'll be more than happy to help you. Laptop, about to read some Harry Potter fanfic. And look who came to join me. Look how cute. So we're gonna sit here together. Mama's gonna read, and Snidely's gonna snide. I don't know. He's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. But we're gonna hang out together for a little while on this lazy Saturday. All right, check that time. Let's see what question we have this week. Um, 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 this one. Okay. Babe Ruth, James Dean, Elvis Presley. If you could bring back any deceased superstar for one final performance in their respective field, whom would you choose? Ooh. Ooh that's a hard one. <laughs> All right, for final performance. Mmm, maybe...
Prince. Yeah, <laughs> maybe Prince. And um, honestly, it's not even for me, to be honest with you. I mean, I like Prince. Prince was amazing. But um, I have a friend who was is so into Prince, loved him. We've been uh, friends, acquaintances since we were children. And she has always, always, always loved Prince. And uh, she was devastated when he passed away. <laughs> um, so I think Prince, I, I, I actually am pretty, like, what would he have been doing today if he had lived, you know? Like, he was super talented and, um, yeah. So I guess, I think I think perhaps Prince would, would be my person for her. But also because I kind of regret that I never saw Prince live. Um, I think he would have been a really cool show <laughs> to see. And I never did. Um, so probably, let's go with Prince. Uh, but we've, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, Robin Williams was amazing um, and seemed like such a great guy. So he would be on the list. Um, Whitney Houston, you know, um, lots of people, but let's say Prince. <laughs> Look at the socks I'm going to wear today. How adorable are these? Mom. Mom gave these to me for Christmas along with several other cute socks and I am obsessed. Well, it's Sunday afternoon and I am about ready to just relax for the rest of the day. I have had lunch, I've been to church, swap the order of that. Um, and uh, and uh, now, yeah, I'm gonna just relax. I'm probably going to play some computer games or something, I don't know, uh, whatever, you know, I, whatever I want. I've already cooked, I came home from, so I went to church, I went grocery shopping, and then I cooked immediately upon coming home because I actually, I needed to make rice for lunch because I was having um, Japanese curry, which I'd fixed before, um, but I run out of rice. So I had to cook the rice. So while the rice was cooking for today's lunch of curry, I went ahead and cooked um, lunches for later. So I made some uh, chicken fajita filling. I did um, just chicken breast uh, strips and I did it with some corn. And I will have that as uh, chicken fajitas and I'll put uh, pickled jalapeno and guacamole in there and it's going to be delicious. That's one of my favorite dishes. So yay, that's all done. So I'm, I'm done with uh, work for the day. So uh, I'm going to go into the den. I've been setting up my den, which is this way from the camera. Uh, it's a guest room and I've been turning it into a den um, because the goal is to stop hanging out so much here in the living room because currently you can't see it because it's like behind you right there but the coffee table is a mess because it's like I keep I live here like I sit like right here and I just do stuff so I end up leaving stuff all over the table and I want this area to be like my public space so I want to get all this stuff off the table which means my place where I live where I just sit and do stuff needs to be in a different room so I'm working on making that guest room a den slash guest room it's gonna take a minute because currently I don't really have space to put any of the stuff that's on this coffee table here in there. Um, I have a table in there that I'm using that I put an old iMac on, the one that I'm playing games on. And uh, you know, I have a TV in there, a DVD player, but I don't have a, like a table in addition to that. Like it's just the TV table sort of. So anyway, I still gotta figure out how I wanna get that room set up so that I can for real just live in there for the most part but um it's you know I spent a bunch of time in there yesterday as you already saw from earlier in the video and I'm gonna do the same again today and spend some time in there and just kind of get used to being in that room instead of out here so um but I'm gonna keep thinking about how I can have like more surfaces and like how you know to make that room what I want it to be it's very exciting so um I'll kind of keep you abreast of that maybe film a little bit as I'm as I'm doing that but that's kind of it. So not sure yet what I'm going to do. I may boot up the old iMac again and play an old game or I have the, um, I have the Nintendo classic, you know, the, the one that came with like 30 games on it. I have that and I set that up in the den. So maybe I'll play some old, you know, vintage, uh, Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers or Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda. Uh, <laughs> who knows? I got all afternoon. Um, but anyway, it's been a nice week. Um, and I'm looking forward to the coming week. So that's that. I don't think I have anything else to say. So I'll just end it in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this week, um, for getting me through the work week, pretty easy work week, which I enjoy. Um, and I enjoy my job. So it's been very good. Thank you for the wonderful weekend. 
a nice day at home yesterday, relaxing, and uh, plenty of time to relax today. Pray for everyone who's watching this, all of my immediate and extended family and friends, that your will be done in and through our lives for your glory, for our good. Any prayer requests that anyone has, Lord, I lift it up, um, that you would move in their situation, comfort them, deliver them, heal them, whatever it is that they need in Jesus' name. And uh, that's that. So I'll end it as I always do with Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Bye.